chat. Wow, look at you in your 16. With a great memory. Huh. What a gal. Your lover is Brenna. Absolutely. Pregnant, taking it. Don't care what you do. You're like three cooks. I ain't got no construction. I ain't got no mining. If only you were construction and mining. Oh, you have construction. It goes. How you doing, Karnith? Oh wait, that's not Karnith. Sorry, I just made an assumption of a red name with a C and a regular. That was rude of me. Cooptastic. I'm a jerk. You should be offended, honestly. Maybe like fucking write a twit longer about how shit I am. It's not a bad idea. Tyrell, thank you for the 82 months. Uh, be this uh, uh, Tyrell, this cook. You have a lover. I'm debating if this is good enough. We're going to call it good enough. We had a prego, right? Yeah. With a toe scar. Your local newspaper? Fuck, dude, that's serious. I've had a newspaper article before. It was not good. I feel like we've been here before. No, not this exact one. Ding. Ding, ding. That's all fertile soil. We live here. Right the fuck here. Fucking medicine. Wait, we need like psychoid. We need like medis medicine. We need like cotton. That's not enough cotton. Fuck the zone up there. That is some real nice fertile ground I got. Yeah, I've never attempted to complete a run to rim world. Not even tried. I'm a freak.
Twinge. Thank you, thank you for the three stream streak. Sorry for a few days off there, dude. It's a little, a little chaotic. A little spring break. A little life chaos. Today was fucking a good day, though. Hope you all understand. Sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes I don't. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. I must once again ask you to forgive me. Yeah, there's a couple different victory conditions now in RimWorld. you're pregnant. How exciting. I'm also hella tired today, so I have no idea how long this shit show is going to go on, but I'm here. Yeah, we went outside today too. It was nice. Oh, there's an ancient danger right there, huh? When I left, or when I picked Alice up from school today, it was like literally the peak of our eclipse for our zip code. And the kid, first kid to walk out the door, he just yells, "Dude, look at the sun!" And like everybody just is following him out, looking straight up at the sun. And the principal's even standing out there with glasses, but like they already looking, you know? They don't care, principal. I mean, I think, listen, I might be scientifically wrong here, but that's okay. But I think the eclipse fucking panic is goofy. Like, sure. You're not supposed to stare at the sun. I get it. I don't do it throughout the year, but like I glance at it all the time on accident and on purpose. And like I can still kind of see. I drove by one dude that for an hour and a half. Well, I drove by him at 1:30, then drove by him again at like three something, and he was in the exact same position, and he was just staring at the sun in like a reclining lawn chair with a welding mask on, and like, there ain't a lot of welding masks that are good enough for that kind of staring. Glance at that motherfucker's like, yeah, man, like, you know, it ain't good for your eyes, sure, but it's never good for your eyes. As far as the, the part of the point I was trying to make is I don't... I don't really think the eclipse is any worse, right? The only issue is you're more prone to do it because it's fucking intriguing. But it's like equally bad as any other day to look at the sun. And like sometimes you're driving and you just gotta look at that fucking sun, dude. It's that or die. And, like, I didn't even Google it, but there's, like, all these dumb Facebook posts going around about, like, fucking keep your pets inside. Listen. If animals are going blind every fucking seven years or whatever, like, I don't know. I feel like we'd have heard about it. We, <laughs> we'd have known. Oh boy, I got two female Yorkies. <coughs> Again, I'm probably wrong, but I feel right, and that's what's important. I'm not squinting because I looked at the sun a couple times today. I didn't, actually. I made a little pinhole viewer thing that's real cute. I've always found the People enjoy that more than the glasses. It's not even like... It's, it's, it's just the idea that, like I said, 
there's wild animals everywhere. And I don't think they're going blind every seven years, man. There'd be some really some predators that were, would really be struggling with their population at this point. If they went blind. The diminished light was wild, dude. Yeah, I, I hadn't experienced that much diminished light. I like kept wanting to take my sunglasses off. We had like 95 or 96% coverage today. Nah, I don't know. I don't agree with that really casually. I think it's a cool event like I don't know. It's a cool thing. Shit, I got two preggers. That was fast, Tyrell. Wait a Wait, where's Tyrell? Oh, you done needed it. You fucked and need a snack, my dude. I bet you called your shot and everything, like a real scumbag. Yeah, I thought about driving the kids down to Indiana over to Ohio to see the total total celerity, but unfortunately, my kids already missed a little too much school from our Disney trip. They sent me a letter about truancy. Even I was like, "What? Get out of here! Suck my whole peeper." Sorry, peepers, what my four-year-old calls his penis. That seems inappropriate to tell the internet, honestly. It didn't feel like it was going to be inappropriate, but then I said it, and I'm like, that's, I don't, I don't, I'm not comfortable with my decisions in life anymore. So let's uh, strike that one from the record, will you? I <laughs> fuck her some most random. Yeah, my uh, future sister-in-law was in the past. She said it was pretty crazy. And the pictures were really cool. It looked, it looked interesting. Cooler than chat made it out to be. No, he ain't screaming cock. He's a pretty good kid. He's emotional. But he's a pretty good kid. Hunter, thank you for the three streams. boy is so emotional it's insane he can also just fucking cry on command which is terrifying he uh learned this this last few days that uh he can use the excuse he misses his dad as a reason to cry not as a reason to cry but like as a reason for why he had bad behavior <laughs> And that's, that's, that's not fun. He's also started calling his dad normal dad. Because uh, he's planning to eventually call me stepdad. He's already told us. It was a big emotional moment for me. Don't make me cry. Um, but I find it very funny that he calls his birth father normal dad. He's a good kid, man. I feel for him hard, dude. I went through a lot of shit with my parents getting divorced young and hating each other and fucking, you know, all that comes along with that. You don't need all the specifics, but it's tough, man. It's tough. His dad uh, uh, went to prison today. 
He won't be out until the kid is fucking seven. I don't know, man. It's tough in raw like you, you know, it's a really hard. We've talked to me and the missus talk about it a lot today because, like I said, he went to prison. So it's, it's a fucking tough spot, dude. Like... What do you say? What do you do? He's too young to really get it, but you don't want to leave him completely in the dark and fucking stressing about not understanding. It's hard, man. Real hard. Either her or I want to fucking keep her kid from a relationship with dad, but unfortunately he's keeping himself from a relationship with his kid. By being an idiot, you know? I don't know. I can't. I don't like. I can't really speak on that, Finero. Like, I think that. Listen, man. I'll give a man shit for what he deserves and what I know and what I've been partaking in. But, uh, I, if I had to say anything, he was like a classic fun dad. You know, he wanted to do all the fun stuff and ignore all the important. Not Im not necessarily just important, but the, the hard stuff. And now he's unfortunately. Gonna miss a fucking a lot. At that age you're missing a fucking ton, man. Dun, 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 dun. Court was a fucking experience for sure today. It was like back and forth. He had like a really good lawyer. Well, it felt like it. I mean, he's in prison, so I guess debatable. But only so much a lawyer can do for you. Taru, thank you for the 52 months. Do I have a doctor? There is a doctor. Oh, I already named him. Shit. Purple's going to be a doctor someday. I can feel it. Dr. Taro, you're a crazy, like everything, 16 year old with a great memory, and you're steadfast. I said, Doctor, ain't there nothing I can do? Exact opposite of you, perfect. Oh, you made one. Oops. Just one for yourself. Holy shit, I'm gonna make food before they're starving to death? This is hot, hot new business for me. Oh, I never did a, a pen maca. Casually challenged. Thank you for the gifts. Um, hmm. Hmm. You seem casually challenged.
Didn't get beds yet, yeah, dude. Did not. S nope. No research. They're not smart enough. I don't have a great warden. Your name, Peter. Ninety-three plain leather. Like that fucking bed. Even though she's already pregnant, they still fucking for that mood bonus. Peter, yeah, Peter vet. I had a girlfriend leave me for a guy named Peter once. I wasn't even that upset. Because, like, you know, she married a dude named Peter. Had kids with him and everything. From Dick to Peter. They didn't pick their name. They didn't choose to change it either. Just saying. Tyrell, you're get you're sticking it to Taru, right? Yeah, you done knocked Taru up, right? No, is that wrong? Taru's a young lady. No, it was Brina. Oh yeah, Tyrell's sticking it to Brina. Not that. I officially made it today. I got a message from some random dude who streams on Twitch that someone's going around pretending to be my nephew and offering streaming advice slash viewership for money. And that, that felt good. You were mean to that poor guy, Taro. You gotta realize this is Twitch. Not every light bulb out here is very bright, okay? Uh, that's not even fair. They're just, you know, there's a lot, you got a lot of different folks on Twitch. <laughs> assume that everybody is, you know, normal and, and socially understands what's going on, but like, unfortunately those people are getting taken advantage of left and right here on Twitch, that, because they don't understand, they don't get it, they don't realize they're being manipulated. It's very common, and not just by, like, bots for them trying to stream, but fucking by their own by streamers they watch and all kinds of shit thank you thank you for the three months have a colonist you want to be a pregnant woman I bet you've always wanted to be a pregnant a 41 year old pregnant woman is that what I'm seeing here dang way to go bro defying all odds try not to die on the delivery sleeping bag Hey, Viola. Okay, we have enough steel for now, so let's stop there. Let's start tackling our little cave here a little better. How wide is this? 12 is fine, right, chat? It's no more than 12. No, nah, no one said tackling. It's a dumb word. Tackle. 
Gross. Bait and tackle. Twelve is fine, right, chat? I'm gonna keep asking them. They're gonna answer me eventually. They're gonna be like, fuck yeah, Richard, you got this. I'm be like, thanks, chat. Seems like a lot of sleeping going on. Not a big fan of sleeping. They're not getting things done when they're sleeping. Twelve by however long I decide. Twelve by probably to that river someday. It's my life. It's now or never. One butthole there, huh? Good map, but lacking in the butthole department. This colony might live forever. Fuck you, man. It might. You don't know. Relationship. The daughter. Oh my god. She's pregnant again, and she's got a. F How old's her daughter rolling up? 13? 13. Wow. And you're pregnant again. It's crazy. They're just rolling by. The gray meerkat. The game just lobbed me that softball. Speaking of softball, Alice starts softball tomorrow. It's exciting. She's doing a real sport. Sorry, cheerleading is a real sport, I guess. All oh, right, you don't, you'd lose your plant specialty, but I got other plant folks, and you're not the best plant person anyway. So, roll change. Fix the settings on what? Oh, for animal corpses? Yeah. I guess. I got something in my eye, man. I think it's the eclipse, but my eye's bugging me. I don't think it's my finger. Could be your finger. If I was invisible, I might go around and annoy people by just casually touching their eyeball with my dirty finger. That'd be fucking rude as hell. monster I know listen every fucking movie I've ever seen where a dude goes invisible he's a monster I feel like it's just unfortunately part of the superpower I can do all kinds of fucked up shit because I'm invisible and now I'm struggling to not do fucked up shit that's the whole fucking invisible guy storyline got the most sensitive eyes ever people can touch my eyeballs but I also have sensitive eyes which sucks as a fisherman because the wind, like, literally every single time I'm on my boat, I'm just crying the whole time. <laughs> Trying to see and then rubbing my nicotine fingers in my eyes to get the tears out and then making more worse, painful, stingy tears. 
It's a life I live. I go cry fishing, yeah, definitely. I do sometimes cry because fishing is my one true love. Second only to that winter sport where they ski and then shoot shit and then ski some more and then shoot some shit. Like, that's pretty tight. How could you not love that sport? Skiing and shooting shit. I'm not sure why the two go hand in hand at all, but I respect the sport immensely. No, but they should have fucking fans out there yelling, shoot, like they do in hockey. That would be fun. done killed your dog Nah, nobody's in a bedroom besides this prisoner. And you gotta walk over Tyre <laughs> Tyrell to get to prison. You craft and dream of cooking, but you're a brawler with a bad back. Oh, yikes. Alright. Yeah, you need to lay the fuck down. Oh, you're having a mood collapse from being pregnant. Pregnancy's fucking terrifying. Well, a lot of men will say women are crazy. Truly, the only thing I find insane about women is the fact that they give birth to a baby out of their vagina and then go, "Nah, I'll do that again. Because, like, nah, dude. I ain't had a fucking knock on wood. I've never had a kidney stone, but everybody I know that's ever peed one of those things out their pee hole. I don't want that happening again. Am I listed on SRL anymore? No, not in a long time. They never wanted me listed there, period. It doesn't come out of the pee hole, but like a stone relative size to your pee hole baby relative size to a vagina. That's all I'm getting at. Like... Anyway, point of the story is willingly 
having a child. Especially with that. Like, that doesn't even get into the, all the crazy fucking side effects. You can just absolutely become insane with post-traumatic. This feels not meant to stretch. Alright, you clearly don't watch enough weird porn on the internet, you little fuck. The dudes be stretching their pee hole for fun on the regular. Your fiance. Yeah, me too. I have an incredibly small pee hole. Unstretchable. Honestly, it could use a little stretching. I feel like life would be easier on me if it was stretched a little, but I'd, fucking, well, I'd have to start with mechanical pencil lead and work my way up, and that's a long, a long road. It, all, it, it does stretch, though. You, like, you can't say it's not meant to if it has the capability to stretch. I stink it regularly tackler, especially in the morning, dude. Like jacked off the night before, wake up in the morning, go to take a pee and think, Oh god, I wish my pee hole was bigger. And also some murloc noises for fun. Nah, sea tackle. I, I love fucking one leftover molecule of semen in deep in my urethra. Back me up. Like I ate fucking three pounds of cheese. Different kind of backing up, but it's what I went with, so accept it into your heart of hearts. I like pudding skin. I don't think there's a, a, a better descriptor for dried cum on your pee hole than pudding skin. Just... Honest, I'd trademark that shit if I could. Someday, like, my mother and future mother-in-law is going to be bored and find my stream and I'm going to be talking about my pudding skin and it's going to be fucked up for her. Like, I'll be fine. I'll pull through. Last cup of pudding in the fridge? Nice, dude. Imagine peeing and it doesn't touch the sides. I don't... That doesn't sound like science. But no, I had a friend who had a pee hole so big he could... Put, yeah, I could put my pinky in it. Not Probably not his pinkies, but... And, like, it seems pretty, uh... uh useful. Not gonna lie. He also had the biggest pecker I've ever seen in my entire life, and I've seen a lot of them. Um, so, like, it made sense that he had a fucking tunnel. A wild woman wanders in? What is happening right now? Do I even have any animal people? I have zero animal people. All right, we got a in, in prisoner. Can we do that? Is that a thing? Will that work? Thirty-four percent chance, not great odds. But 
you're very useful. Um, what are your odds to arrest? 30. And if it fails, you've smacked the shit out of him with that club. I don't know how I'm going to feed these motherfuckers, but we'll figure that out later. Uh, it's an imp, so you might get lit on fire. I don't know if it'll light you on fire once you're... Did you save this person's life yet? Yeah. What uh, value does a giant pee hole have? I don't know. Fucking hiding things in it. Fucking having great flow. Passing a kidney stone. Um, hiding things in it. Tic Tacs. A little Pez dis turn your dick into a Pez dispenser. That's uh, that's tight, honestly. And a good way to end up in jail. Not gonna lie. didn't happen to drop in my religion, did you? No, neither of you. What religion was wandering person? The great army. Because, like, if you can dispense Pez from your penis, you're going to offer it to people. And then somebody's not going to be happy that you offered them penis Pez. And you're going to go to jail and be on a list. And, like, those aren't things you want. Yeah, p hit him with a penis Pez. Once it, the problem is you're going to offer them a Pez, and I don't, I don't know. I feel like you're not going to offer it. You're not going to explain to them that my Pez dispenser is my penis. And, like, that's the problem. This is how you end up locked up. Oh, you still have to be tamed even in prison. That's an issue for us, but we'll get there. Uh,
I mean, you're a stronger man than me, then, Sackler, because I feel like if I could dispense Pez for my penis, I would unfortunately surprise people with that fact. And I know that's that's bad. That's naughty. And I would deserve punishment. But like also, God gave me a gift. And I I gotta share it. Literally. It's an imp. He's got horn, horns, pig ears, uh, face mask like fucking Bane or whatever that guy's name is with a weird voice. I'm still annoyed by Bane's voice in Batman. I haven't heard it in years and I'm still annoyed by it. Why was it so high pitched? Pez sucked. One of my friends' dad was a real fucking weirdo who was big into Pez and like collected them and shit. Real weirdo. Yeah, they suck. And like the dispensers are mildly interesting at best. I don't know, I'm not a collector of things, so never have been, never found it interesting, don't really get it. Oh, I'm sure they still make Pez, dude. They make all kinds of dumb shit. Yeah, I never collected magic cards. I played magic. Because they had no play value to me. I didn't want them or care about them. What the fuck's this horse's name? Serengeti. Dinner. Changed your name to dinner. that prisoner a horse and that's upsetting you're feeding them all a horse now you're gonna leave the horse in there I just don't like stuff man I hate clutter hate stuff I'm a simple man simple needs Dr. Taru, you're going to be my queen. You're more of a princess. Oh, she has some awful abilities. Yeah, not a fan of stuff. Definitely gotta have like a, a, a place. And the problem is there's just too much stuff to always have a place for things. You know, you dig? If this is a bigger urethra, you could just fucking engulf that raccoon inside it. Fuck, dude, on the way to school today, I saw this fucking creature, and I was like, what is that? It looks insane. It's like a giant badger thingy. Wolverine, maybe. We don't have those anymore. It was just a raccoon without a tail, but let me tell you, raccoons without tails, they look weird. That was a good story, Richard. Everyone really enjoyed that one. We actually venerate 
uh, raccoons. Are they upset now that we killed one? No. Saw a badger in your garden how long ago? I saw a badger once when I lived in Wisconsin and it was drunk and it made the news. They eat like rotten tubers and get fucked up. Which is pretty tight. see a lot of beavers. They're assholes and mean and scare me all the time. They're like freshwater dolphins. I swear they get off on scaring me. Badgers are mean as fuck. My friend had like a half dozen cats murdered by a badger. To be fair, why are your cats outside? Look, I remember you were a redneck and your mom was a raging alcoholic, but still, uh, yeah, killed all his cats. And then we like went hunting it for revenge and shot it in the face with a paintball gun and that made it chase us all the way into the home. Thank God it didn't catch us. Imagine if I was badger scarred for the rest of my life. I have to tell fucking women where that scar came from. Well, I shot a badger in the face with a paintball gun. Dolphins? The only thing that pisses me off about dolphins is they, I swear to God, they get off on scaring you. We'd be sitting out by the fucking ocean at night and they would get like right the fuck up on top of us and then go out their blowholes and fucking swim off. And we'd fucking scream in terror every time. The manatees would scare me too, but it wasn't my fault. I'd like turn a flashlight on to look in the water because I was fishing and see fucking six manatees eight feet away from me just living. And that would also be terrifying, but. Damn, son. That sucks. Actually, if one of them was going to die, I guess that one. But like, why are you murdering people? You're a 16 in melee. A must muskrats are the least intimidating thing. Don't be a wimp. Sounding pretty wimpy, bruh. It's a muskrat. Drunk meese, dude. That sounds terrifying. Yeah, moose are big. I don't really like big uh, animals. Scary. Horses, terrifying. Just antlerless moose. I don't trust myself enough to not do something stupid and get kicked in the face by a horse, you know? That's really the issue. Like, I'm just, I'm kind of fucking wild and crazy and all over the place might accidentally do something to disturb this horse and next thing I know my fucking neck's broken hanging off my back done been horse kicked and I just don't think I've ever trusted an animal enough like I don't trust my dogs and I love my dogs to death they're very good dogs oh, you know got, got good dogs dog but like if that dog was fucking 1,200 pounds, that's like light for a horse, ain't it? Anyway, if that dog weighed as much as a horse, uh -uh, I wouldn't have it as a pet. They're not a meth, they're just dumb. Deer are just dumb, and they panic and just run. The classic, like, deer's coming out in front of your car, turns back, 
runs alongside you than just fucking like loses his mind and runs right into the side. I feel like I've seen more deer run into the side of a car than in front of a car, and it's just sheer like bunny rabbit panic. I don't have recreation. Damn. Good looking out, friend. I've been in a car twice where the passenger side windshield was shattered out by a deer just ramming its head into the side of the car out of out of fear. Idiots. When I was a teenager, I was driving down the road and there was a pheasant standing in the middle of the road and I was like, wow, look at that pheasant. I've never seen a pheasant before. That's really cool. There's a pheasant donk and I just fucking murdered it. But it was like a bird and I thought it'd move, you know? I really just assumed it wouldn't do what it did and die. And I felt really bad about it because it's the only one I'd ever seen. It just like stared at my car until I fucking crushed its beak at 35, 55, 70 miles an hour. I was going probably too fast. I was young. I used to drive fast. I was young. Dumb, full of cum. You know. You feel so hot and cold, as in like sexually you feel hot, but physically you feel cold. So that's fair. turkey vulture they're big and they didn't move yeah they're big and spooky dude we used to live by a vineyard and fucking one day i drove by and there was a turkey vulture on like every single vineyard post for like fucking 300 feet it was there must have been 30 of them just on every post staring out of the road it's horrifying i felt like fucking Mowgli. I knew I could get there. Joke would have hit better if I was quicker, but the point is I, I got there without your help. You missed the eclipse? Bro, it was like three hours. You did like some really bad planning for your day if you missed a three hour window to look at the sun. Sea eagle. We have a bunch of bald eagles again. They came back with a vengeance after we tried to kill them all off with hairspray or lead or whatever it was that killed them. Probably should have seen it. I don't think a lot of people realize the eclipse, like, is. I don't know, man. It's so funny to me how many people I talked to today that were like, my age or older and like acted like it was the first ever eclipse they were witnessing y'all fucking high we had one seven years ago where were you yeah if you lived in the totality that was like to, uh, varied from like a minute to three minutes or some shit, but like most people didn't.
Did you death? Jealous. I wish I would have went down and seen it. Never heard of heard of a white-tailed eagle. But eagles are all right, I guess. I don't know. They're like really big seagulls that can kill you. I will say that as a kid, I had thought I wanted to see eagles and that it was sad that they were almost extinct. But now that I'm an adult and we have a fuck ton of eagles, they're kind of obnoxious. They're really big fucking birds and they uh, don't give a fuck. And they make me feel like a bad fisherman regularly because they're good at it. When you're just like cruising down the fucking shoreline of a lake and a fucking bald eagle just drops out of a tree like a fucking drop bear and swoops down and snatches a fish next to your boat, it's, it's kind of terrifying. Don't love that as much as I thought I would when I was a kid and wanted to see eagles. When I was watching Chris Farley climb a tree to get an egg to crush the shells to save fucking Chandler from friends, who's dead now. Guess the eagle didn't work out. Uh, you know, I thought they'd be cool. Maybe stop smoking. I don't smoke, I vape. Vaping hasn't been around, around long enough that you can uh, confirm or deny its COPD-ness. I, I, I believe I'll end up with COPD. I'm just fucking with you. I'm sorry. Just in a mood because I'm tired. Yeah, 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 I'll quit. Quit these energy drinks, too. I'll wear sunscreen every time I go out into the sun. And uh, I'll eat less butter. That last one's a lie. I'll never eat less butter. Fuck it. You fed that man that man, and that's definitely not what I want you to do. So let's not. Butter's just so good. Why would I ever want to quit butter? Shut up, chat. It's my butter. I don't fucking drink or do drugs or fucking beat women like I want to fucking vape all right leave me alone use lotion yeah I don't use lotion I, I don't wash my face so you know this is a stockpile zone again what the fuck Sorry, that was a weird one, but like, I also, I, I always find it funny that I, I like genuinely don't believe I've ever just like washed my face. I can hear Chibli screaming as he does his skin care routine. I have a beard now, so like I wash my beard just because that bitch can get a little a little funky. But like that's the closest thing I get to washing my face.
Beard drift? Yeah, it does suck. QPD is very bad. Yeah. I'm a, again, I'm I'm 35. I know. No, nobody who's smoking a cigarette doesn't realize the fucking health negatives. Oh, they're venerated. The health negatives of smoking. Just, just in case you're wondering. We know. We make a conscious effort every day to wake up and say, eh, fuck it. Ooh, you're getting married. How exciting. I saw something in my eye. Goddamn eclipse in there. Yeah, both my parents were smokers. My grandparents. Actually, just my grandma. My grandpa never smoked. Well, not my grandpa that I call grandpa. My real grandpa probably did. He was a truck driver. Fucking kidding me. I hate this shit so much. It's, it's ridiculous. There's no way you're gonna get away. You're just dead. Cause he'll just fucking eat your ass on the ground. And not in like a fun I'm a like this kind of way, but like a Fuck you, you're dead kind of way. Bit off your finger. I never liked that finger. Hey, are you the one who just said you're getting married and then a wolf bites off your finger? Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> it's clearly a sign. didn't die, I ain't even mad. Could have been a death. Easily.
about Taro, you need to fucking... Oh, you're butchering. You could have eaten, though. There was a meal. Now they ate them all before you got to eat one. You're not even that mad, so fuck it. Go hunt a fox. Sorry, baby, bit off my ring finger. Oof. Old man body be aching a little. Go convert. Oh, they went to sleep on you. I should actually take a hunting party out and kill some boomalopes while it's raining. It'll stop raining before I get there. Glitter, thank you for the 22 months. I got a dude for you. You like men? I got men. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. You dumbass Yorkie. Go to Waffle House, bring me some waffle. They're beginning their assault, and this is unfortunate for them. <laughs> Fucking burned out your left eye. That's a weird place to get the fire problems. Got the old artery blockage, probably from smoking. And butter. Smoking butter. If I had to guess. Baby prep. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, it's time. Oh, Glither, you need somebody. Uh, you're also going to be a pregnant woman? I think you're pregnant. Yeah, you're going to get fucked by Tyrell. I've done cannibal before. Oh, you done stood and exploded by a boomalope. It's raining. You're fine. 
Let the fire go out. Tyrell just keeps getting injured. This motherfucker can stay healthy. I know you're breaking, but I just for once would like to have some food. We ain't got no food already. Bro, you don't need no side focus. Your ability is stupid and dumb. not enclosed who cares I don't even have a fucking animal it's me what if an animal wanders in can we please haul shit before it's all bad I get up and eat and go back to bed so that way somebody else who wants to actually work doesn't have a meal gotta fucking relax socially Tyrell you need to cook dude you've rested long enough commence the recruiting some slow ass research Starvation. Try eating. A structure. No, I'm cool. Tasty tortoise meat. Wasted. Why are you using one extra rice? That's fucked up. You're researching in the dark. That probably slows you down a bit. I've been 
robbed of that one rice. This game is a scam. the shit you had on the stove immediately back to the stockpile. <coughs> There's three health left on that medicine. You'll get it. There you do. Another raid, Jesus. Been popping off. Little furry. And his little furry friend down here. Both got knives. shoot at this man from a distance. Oh god, a ram went wild. Where at? Is it gonna beat his ass? Fuck yeah, it is. Why to pick a guy who can't shoot? Feels like a waste. How'd that ram treat you? Oh, not too bad. Yeah, get him. No oh, good, he's moving slow. Do battle Yorkshire. For Yorkshire. Oh, he just rolled up and gave me that. Oh, you're third trimester pregnant. He's all high on the drugs and kill my dog. A little bleeding. Don't fuck that pregnancy up. 
Who hasn't been stabbed in their third trimester and been fine about it? Tiny dogs and pregnant women, not great tanks. We're learning. Children aren't always the best, but sometimes excellent. third trimester pregnancies. It's pregnant city in here. Boomalope meat for 75. Boomalope meat down the drain. What well, kind of idiot doesn't pick the shit in the fridge that's about to expire? good enough. You're fine. Go go home. You're very pregnant and very grumpy. And I don't want to have to beat your ass. <laughs> it's RimWorld chat. It's not me. It's RimWorld. Casually Challenge got an infection. a hand infection should be okay that before it goes bad too then you can go back to living your life a silver meteorite wow this game's wild and crazy shit just keeps happening to do something else. Okay. Conversion. All oh, right, I still got to tame this motherfucker. Requires a 7. I ain't got that. I ain't got anywhere near that. Okay, it's not a pregnant infection. Why don't we clean this prison cell ever? You're about to pop. Sweep the floor real quick. Going for a walk? Haul some rice. 
It's like taking a walk. Jesus, this is the slowest research of my life. I have to have someone else pretend to know how to research. How you doing? Not great, but you're getting there. How much wood do I have left? A little bit, not much. Best doctor. You should have finished that little. No, that wasn't you. Never mind. You got this, kid. Joe, thank you for the 113 months. Uh, oh, I named them all already. Oh, no. I got one coming soon, I think. Being held at a camp under armed guard. Rescue him and he'll join you. Where's it at? That's a really long walk. You can suck my dear. Right, it's a really long walk. That's a really long walk. He's 51, he's a researcher though. don't, but she could also leave the map. And I have no one who can tame her, so... Are we out of food again? Yeah. Starving pregnant woman? Bad. Bad. Let the pregnant woman eat. I 
she'll actually get a worse deal than Taru just because she's exploding pregnant and not very good at negotiating. Yeah, buy those go juice. Thank you. Only shitty steel knives for pennies. He brought me some garbage guns and a samurai helmet. Tight. Save that for the old rainy day fund. Everyone sleeps a lot when I keep waking them up. They're all over the damn place. Ugh, you just missed. Jesus. Simtoric thing for the 69 months. I haven't had a good Simtoric in my game in a long time. It's curious. shit out there to hunt. Sorry, I need these two pregnant women to pop anyway before they go out there trying to hunt all slow. Member died. I didn't kill him. Where'd they die at? I want their shit though. Oh, it's a fucking garbage knife and a couple of meals. That's grizzly bear food. A 69 and no one even said nice. Y'all disappoint me, chat. construction on a torch. The guy didn't burn the whole cave down.
Well, I'm sleepy too. I still gotta say nice. It's only fair that you do. Command that pregnant woman to research faster. Wow, that's a fast pig. Oh, right, we used the ability. You only have a... Oh, no, you have a resistance of eight. That's still not terrible. Are you good with animals? Not good enough to fucking recruit her. You're a researcher. That's huge. One eye burned out. No big deal. Who needs two? We're having a heat wave. Fuck you, heat wave. Carna, thank you for the 40 months. Am I playing with my freezer? Probably here somewhere eventually. I don't know. Maybe here. I haven't decided. Depends on what I do with my base. If I ever get fucking electricity, Jesus Christ. I have no tattoos, no. I'm boring. Yeah, green screen do do that. This is in a professional place. That one dude's a brawler. He's already killed a man. Hunt is an option, that's funny. Making all my pregnant women fight. Labor. Just stop and grab a little snack. A couple of road snacks. Just doing a little hauling on your way? What a what a bad bitch. 
baby doesn't have a bed. Hurry, put that crib together last minute. Probably shouldn't give birth in the dark. It's really hard to click on torches. Nah, Fell Strike. Is that some kind of sex thing? have another roguelike poker game. Make the baby build her own crib. It's a long labor. Tyrell's got to be bored. up <laughs> Jinjo You're starving Why are you taking the baby? Oh it's a, it's, it's a rest out there on the floor. It's too hot in here. I see. It'll be fine there, I guess. No, you're fine. You're not starving. Your mother was because you were sucking her dry like a fucking leech. A little leech, baby. Why is all of the wildlife gone? I'm, oh, the heat wave, I guess, huh? That's fine. I need a wild and wild life reset. She's starving. Why don't you get out of bed and like live your life? Recreation starved. Welcome to being a new mother. Oh, you're still exhausted from baby giving, having, making, not making. We don't know how you made your baby. We weren't there for it. Just working into the heat stroke. You got this. Don't give up. You ain't no quitter. Shit electricity, baby. Air conditioning.
It's gotta be here. It's too much of a pain in the ass. It's not as big as I'd like, but we'll fix it later. Yeah, there's an ancient danger right there. I didn't realize it until, you know, it went meh at me. Assets. Come on, recruits is full. Yeah, I could definitely just try opening it when traders are here, honestly. baby. Going into labor again. You're up, Glyph. Your doctor is your husband. It's beautiful. I love that. Again, no babies in the dark. Again, a crib. the tree for the crib. Now Glither knows how to have a baby. Spurting him right out of there. Pacow! Straight to the teat. New baby. Name the baby. <clears throat> Symptoric. Future elite sniper. Child sniper. Another raid? Ugh. I didn't think a revolver would outrange my recurve. Oh yeah, we're both in range, huh?
you're so exhausted for 12 fucking hours. That's annoying. Did you even go get medicine? I don't feel like you did, but all right. Sound of it just feels kind of like a bad idea. Just some knife wounds. Back glither. Don't go to go to your bed, you weirdo. The baby was in the way of the door, so you wouldn't go to bed. Offering a chat thing. Oh, interacted too soon, recently, whatever. Oh shit. Browse. Somebody. Oh no, my mouse wheel's gotten squeaky and I hate it. I stole this mouse from Cobalt like a decade ago. Might be time to buy my own. I should just lay the babies out in the yard before combat as a distraction. They'll try to kidnap them, and then we'll shoot them in the back. You're a baby. You can't talk, Joe. Please roleplay appropriately. That's a good baby. Oh, next one we get him. You out there chasing down a damn alpaca? Why aren't you researching?
should have time in between breastfeeding your baby to research. Refrigeration, please. Y'all still fucking for mood and spirits? Yeah, way to fuck. You just fed that baby. Are you feeding someone else? You are, aren't you, you little freak? You're breastfeeding all the babies. Just tits out. I don't know, Trevor. Squirrel's gone by home. Turn later to raid and pillage. I mean, that'd be a tight story. Again, the role-playing factor. I'm here for it. No, no, no. You go chat. I know you want to sleep, but this man joins us now. And I need that's a that's a carnith if I've ever seen one. An old man with a bad brat back who still likes to brawl. What a story. Also a shitty construction worker, which we could use another construction worker. Five day psych IT drink binge. Not bit, whatever. I know words. You need drugs. So you do them. A rat self tamed. Finally start my rat army. Still nobody who handles animals, right? No. <clears throat> Whoever would like to assist in researching, please God. don't go in pens they just wander around like assholes cool fourteen herbal medicine for a life-saving operation bro I don't think I got that kind of medicine to give away I guess I do fine you never give me anything in return but I'm good people that's what they say about me Bye. I'll get you some clothes soon, Karnith, if people ever research. Uh, but they were nice people. I'm the oh, wait, you mean me being a nice person. Right, 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 right. They, they, uh, they still said I was nice. I wasn't putting their life in any danger. If anything, I was protecting people while simultaneously making our children more useful. It's just science.
I don't think the saying is rough love, but I don't know. I've been wrong before. Look, I haven't seen Glitter research in 17 years. He got up eight, went back to bed. Bruh. Is this pig good with animals? He's part animal. I mean, he's not good enough. Always breastfeeding, never researching. I'm never gonna have fucking a cooler. Yeah, Twitch was doing weird shit with subs again. Maybe someone else will take over your cooking, Tyrell. Yeah. And then you're gonna go breastfeed your baby. At least it's your baby. You're not a weird freak. You're just stuck researching alone there, friend. Why are you playing with his baby? Her baby. We're gonna get a new prisoner. Maybe they'll be, but they actually research, right? That was their big thing, yeah, sweet. Gross, like a groan. Sweaty. Oh, it is sweaty in here. Oh, we're out of wood. Nah, trigger happy can be okay. Depends on what they're firing, their shooting skill. Nitro. Who wants to buy themselves a man pig? Trevor buying himself a man pig. Spelled your name right this time. You're welcome. Oh, B bags, you're a little slow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, both of you. Uh, B bags, uh, you could be this rat. It's not a great life for you. You could wait until I someday recruit this guy. Or maybe this deserter. Oh no, not that one. Dangle flop. Thank you for the 87 months. I feel bad when you're all y'all are slowsies. Maybe you're just subscribe subscribe giving to support me and not because you're greedy. Someone who can actually fucking research. Yeah.
Is he harvesting for the 42 months? I can be both. That's true. Supportively greedy. Don't be too supportive because I gotta sleep soon. But I'm getting my schedule back. I'm back. Sorry about the few days off. It was real chaotic. We had fucking his spring break shit finishing up, and I want to spend some time with the family. And then we had this fucking her baby daddy's fucking big sentencing day. So it's just you know life a little, a little crazy for a couple days. Enjoyed the day though, man. You know it was a. A beautiful day with the solar eclipse and living. Bing. Come on, pig. Go research. Relax socially? That's bullshit. Research. Nobody got time for social bullshit. You can talk to each other next to each other at those benches. Fall in love. Oh, wait. Glither's already got a lover. Eclipse is all right. I didn't get the totality, so not as exciting for me. I got like 90-something percent. It was weird. Weird lighting for a while was kind of interesting. That was the only part I found interesting. Like wearing weak sunglasses for a few hours. Uh, the difference between 90% and 100% though is uh, it's, it's night and day. I'm sorry. Yeah, I saw some pictures from my future sister-in-law. It's pretty cool. She's over in Vermont. It looked wild. Hmm. Must be kept in bed. Psychic trainer word of joy. I'll think about it. It is accurate. Thank you. I have so much cloth already. Uh, it was just like weird, like I said, weirdly tinted. Like driving was a really weird feeling. I, I kept trying to take my sunglasses off. Yeah, we had a very, very clear, beautiful day. We did the eclipse stuff, did the court shit, did the eclipse stuff, did the... Uh, Ran all over hell looking for glasses last minute because we've had so much other nonsense and stress that we weren't really thinking about the fucking glasses. Ran all over hell trying to find them. They were sold out fucking everywhere. People were selling them on Marketplace for like $150. It was hilarious. Uh, then we uh, let the kids play in the mud. They liked that. And then uh, we went out on the boat for a little bit. That was nice. Good day. All around, good day. I said good day. A little, I don't have a, I have a little fish and ski. It's kind of a bass boat. I guess you could lie to yourself and call it that. Uh, it was it's a uh, it's it's getting there. I'm having some electrical issues with my trolling motor. I, I don't know what I did wrong, man. I just, I'm pretty sure I just have it wired wrong. I just got to figure it out. But I got the motor fixed. It was nothing. It was a thirty dollar little tiny baby part, and I'm an idiot for not solving it sooner.
So the old 1992 rides again. All right, I've done it. I have a cooler. I feel accomplished in my stream tonight. I deserve a nap. Uh, like I said, I was still getting back on day schedules. I had to get up super early today for this court shit. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. Sorry it's a short one. Sorry for the couple days off, but I'm back. Regular streams that are, you know, not as good as they should be, but at least happening um, with regularity. We've only got two days till the DLC, so I think I'll probably just fuck around a little bit more with this unless I see some random game looks exciting. Tape to tape got an update? Is it anything cool? Not really. Uh, subs, tips, bits, all that shit. I love you, I love you, I love you. I'll, I'll be back tomorrow night. Mwah.